G'day guys, Rod here again, aquaponic gardener in Queensland, Australia. In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can use one of these crates behind me here and a few different components and we'll turn into a mini aquaponic system to educate your kids. Just built this little aquaponic system behind me here, specifically for schools. Um, with the idea that they come to my place, they have a look at the educational facility that I've got, and then they can build this themselves. To help you further understand how I built this mini aquaponic system, at the end of the video, I'll put a link, and that link will contain a, a parts list and also a video tutorial, which is over an hour long, and that'll show you every step that I've taken to build this so that you can do it yourself. So let me just show you through here. So I've basically, I've just gone to a local hardware shop, and I've got three tote tanks here. So they're only very small, but they're food grade. So let's have a look at this. So you can see they're 21 liters each, they're food grade. And what I've done is I've just stacked them on top of each other. So there's three, there's three tubs here and they just totally stack on top of each other. Now it is a mini aquaponic system. It will work the same way. Uh, and you can see I've done the plumbing underneath exactly the same. So let's have a look here. So I've got a male and a female screw fitting there, and then it goes in an elbow and then straight down. Now you can see in the floor there, I've cut the floor out. I've cut the floor of that tank deliberately so that um, water can just flow throughout. And these crates just stack straight on top of each other, like so. There we go. So they will sit there. Uh, in the top here, I've got a normal siphon fitting. So I've done all this in 20 millimeter pipe. So normally I do it in 25 mil, but um, because there's a very small system, I've chosen the 20 mil. And then gravel guard goes up and over the top, and then you put a cap on that. Uh, that's the last thing I need to purchase. It's a cap, I didn't have one. So that, then the gravel guard goes straight over the top, like so. And then you just fill the whole thing up with gravel. Now the pipe work side of things, let me just show you around the other side. All right, so from the side here, I've got just 13 millimeter um, fittings. So I've got two 13 millimeter angles going straight into a 13 millimeter pipe. Then I've got this very small uh, pump, which is a 300 liter an hour pump. Now that's 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 ample to pump up to uh, 50 centimeters. Uh, these are each 10 centimeters approximately and this little pump will do that fine so then you just place that through the the viewing platform that i've created the top tray is the vegetables the second tray is merely to separate the fish tank underneath the third tray and it's just a viewing platform more or less so that you can see your fish in there you can place your fish in there and you can also place your pump in there so i'll put the pump in there back in there again that goes in like so and uh, all I've done is cable tie, gadget on the top, straighten him up. So I've just cable tied the angle there and I've gone on the outside and then straight on the inside. All right, so what I'm doing now is I'm just filling this tank up and uh, we'll see how we go. It's not, um, you won't need too much water. I need 21 liters of water in the bottom actually just a little bit less than that because I don't want it to overflow and then um, I'll put 20 litres roughly in the top so I'll just fill it up and we'll see how we go we'll test it out and let's just see if this actually works as planned of course I'm running this system without any gravel in it um, but it's all working well it's pumping from the bottom it's pumping from the pump into a 13 mil hose working well it's a pretty good flow rate and uh, as you can see from from the tube here the water is flowing out through the gravel and uh, straight out where it should so let's have a look underneath if we can spin around have a look through into the second tray you can see it's all pumping straight to the bottom which is great and couple of little drips there that just means that I haven't tightened up the elbow properly I haven't glued anything so it's just a test 
and I'll tighten that up no problem but this, that little tiny pump's doing well and uh, so it's just a three little bed system working a treat all right so what I'm going to do now is just add a bit of hydroton into the system some of these little clay pellets and just so we can see how she goes now this is really lightweight so that's why I want to use hydroton uh, but I think Scoria can still withstand it but uh, you got to be careful um, it's only a little system and you don't want it to fall over uh, it's pretty hollow in between but what we've done is when I cut the floor out of the middle system here I haven't cut through any of the plastic uh, supports so I've only cut in four centimeters from each edge all the way around and I'm trying to keep the stability of the tank same with the holes in the side I haven't cut through the plastic supports um, if I cut through there then it might fall over completely. Anyway, we'll add some hydroton into the system. So I had 20 litres, uh, it was probably 25 litres actually, um, of hydroton, so I've just filled the top uh, with hydroton. Now what that means is any excess water, because uh, we just displaced the water by adding that in, so that's all come out the bottom. Now that's quite okay, uh, just let it overflow, but ideally, um, yeah, you want to do this outside. <laughs> um, and I will probably take a little bit of water out, I'll just pump a bit out. Yeah, just pump a little bit out the side so that, you know, it's not continuously filling up. Therefore, um, that'll drop the water in the fish tank a little bit. To where it should be. But look, this little mini system is actually better than I thought. Um, obviously, I haven't planted anything in it, but we're not going to use a siphon as I would in a normal uh, larger aquaponic system. I don't think it needs it. Um, it is just a mini system. I'm getting wet here. Um, that's probably enough water. All right, so let's just see how it goes. Just testing the stability of it. Now, I'll probably use Scoria because it's a lot cheaper for schools. Um, as you know, Hydroton's probably, I think it's around about $80 for 20, or oh, 50 litres uh, a bag. Yeah, that's the cheapest I can find it. I think is around the 70, 60 to $70 mark on, on eBay. But, um, if you buy it locally, yeah, it's quite expensive, unfortunately. Um, so I'll probably use Scoria because I can get a whole trailer load, basically, um, for $50. So as, to fill this top tray, I could get two of these out of one 50 litre bag, or I can get a whole trailer load and make 50 of these trays. Um, so that's what I'll do. The Scoria is a little bit heavier though, so I'll have to use either a little bit less or just uh, see how Scoria goes. But all in all, Working well, pleased I did it. It's great for a school project. At the end of the day, this little uh, mini aquaponics system, it's a neat little system. Kids are going to love it. It does use the same biological principles, but of course it is a lot smaller. Therefore you can't grow as many um, fish in the bottom. You certainly can't put many fish in there and you certainly can't put too many plants in the top either but it will be a living, breathing biological system. All the same biological principles will apply, um, but it is a test model. It's a great demonstration um, of what you can do on a miniature scale to get them interested. It's environmental education. It's, it's really an education tool that I can use to get people interested. They can take it home and they can um, apply those skills later on in life maybe, or hopefully they can get their teachers interested and the teachers will go ahead and build larger, bigger systems um, for them. So it teaches all the same principles and I'm really, really pleased to see that it is a working uh, model. So hopefully you enjoyed that little demonstration there. It's a mini aquaponic system, a very small one. All up, that costs $70 purchasing everything at Bunnings Hardware Shop. So it costs $70 to do a miniature version, and you're looking at probably $450 for a larger scale version. So this is for kids. This is just to get them interested. Hope you enjoyed that. And at the start of this video, I promised you that I put a link to a parts list and also to a video tutorial. 
so you can really fast track your success. I've done that, so have a look down there in the description. And uh, look, if you've got any feedback, I'd love to hear it in the comments section. I'd love to see uh, your own build as well. So happy aquaponics. I hope you can utilize this if you're a teacher in the classroom or if you just want a little simple system for yourself at home. Uh, hopefully you can uh, follow those instructions and uh, build one yourself. And I'd love to hear your feedback.